Speaking of slapping people, welcome, Chad, for another exciting episode of Rut Grind. Hey, 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 where, where Thurston makes us decay every single day. But of course, the one who will help make our day is Odoroshi. Hi, hello. That was a good rhyme, and I don't have anything to follow that. I'm playing Vina, the sylph swashbuckler. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm here to delay everything, so I'm going to just start telling you about my day. Leans so, in. I woke up at yeah. noon. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That was it. That was my day. Oh, okay. <laughs> of course, the one who makes our day wonderful is next up, Hokey Crow. That is me. I am Hokey Crow, and today I will be, as I often do, say for two other sessions previously, playing the Kanrasu cleric, Rahua. And, man, I am just glad it is not a snowstorm out today, this today. week. Yeah, for now. yeah, I think it's been rough for a lot of yeah. people. I think we needed more snow. I want it back. I think you need a grenade right now. I would love one. Give me it. The one who now <laughs> owns the grenade is Arendelle. Yeah, I'm Arendelle. I'm playing as Baldrick Weathers, the alchemist human, and I wish it was snowing and windy more. Now! <laughs> what? <laughs> like we all blow away. <laughs> <laughs> I want a windy and I want it now! <laughs> it sounded like you said I want a Wendy's like yeah, I want a Wendy's <laughs> right now. I, 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 I want a Wendy's in my house right now. Excuse me, Thurston. I am not in the 15 to like 19 demographic whose existence is predicated upon eating salt, fat, and sugar. Dog, uh, you're missing I'm out. good. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's, uh, like, I'm, yeah. like, I'm just gonna no. pat my belly here and go, hmm. Yeah. Well, <laughs> high ground this one. Burn. Yeah. But of course, oh, the one who currently has the high ground is Speaker D. Of course I have the high ground, and it is over Anakin. Hi, everybody. I'm Speaker D. I play Tan Hauser, the revolutionary Magus, who's also a robot. Ain't that just hunky-dory? Well, and, uh, 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 that's the bit. Go. And of course, we have. It's like you're going to do a YouTube we're all for a really second. really on the bits today. <laughs> yeah, we're on top of it. I can't Speaker's prepare. falling down. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm falling off. I jumped the shark, man. Hey, you want to? Uh, pardon me. A couple things. For one, I just know as our frame things in. Hey, chat. How much does it anger you that the rock rind symbol or logo in the middle wasn't like perfectly centered? Let me help you out. Let me just make it worse for you. There you go. Just anyway, hey, and of course we have our illustrious game master, Thurston Hillman. I hate now that I'm watching you just move this thing like on the delay and it yeah, hurts my yeah. skull. Yeah, you're, you're welcome, man. <laughs> I'm just putting oh, here, so me. it's like just I... nothing but a void and a little bit of it. There you go. Oh god, I'm gonna see it dark six seconds and it's gonna hurt me. Hi everybody, it's me. It's 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 on call GM. It's thirsty. I'm 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 here. <laughs> Good bit, streamer. <laughs> Good depressing. <laughs> <laughs> Thurston and doesn't want to play with us anymore. Thurston hates That's us. Right. I'm replacing you all with pals. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. Hey, Wait. you know, you might be onto something. They're a really versatile resource. They're labor, right. yeah. materials, and food all in one. Yeah. True. Just need to stop sleeping on the job. Yeah. yeah they're not <laughs> fucking sleep on the job. I'm going to have to make a fucking example. Oh. Right. You know, sensor bars. <laughs> it's like, oh, this, guys, Zora and I love. A, this is why we couldn't get a Wendy sponsorship. Zora and <laughs> I love that you have just the corner of the screen visible, like you're a substitute teacher who's trying to put something on the overhead but doesn't notice yeah. that you only have put on a small portion of it. Like, it's a really yeah. great feeling, and it reminds me of my elementary school days. Please fucking fix it now. Hold up, there's a. <laughs> Please fix and fuck it. There's a mole. Why are you focusing on this dot? This is why I said it's like the overhead experience, because every single overhead I I got to look at shit on in my elementary school days had just like this little fleck or speck just somewhere on the screen projection. It's like, <laughs> why the hell is it like this? Like we have a we have a mole on our, on our logo. Anyway, it's a beauty hi. Mark. She's beautiful. I'm Zoran the Bear. I'm your host for this evening. I'm playing the Strix Druid Orin. 
the lovable little guy who basically tries to feed everybody worms. But one thing to note, chat, that we all leveled up. We all leveled up. Uh, we're all level nine now. Thank you, Thurston, for your gracious experience points. And um, thank you, God. That's right. Thank, That's thank right. You. Thank you, God, <laughs> for God. this. Please, this God. Gift. <laughs> and uh, and remember, chat, if you're watching us live, which we appreciate you watching live and so we're live on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. But if you're on Twitch, we're trying to get it fixed for YouTube. And we'll just wait for the announcement on that. You can help us out if you understand what the bars are at the bottom or you don't. Those are bit bars. Those are not our HP. Uh, basically, we do a hero point system, which is also default in Pathfinder 2nd Edition, which is the system that we play on. Basically, you can basically help give hero points to us to help us out in the game. But of course, if we uh, mess up or so, it's a lot worse for us because we have to deal with complications. So we're trying to break in a car outside. Now, basically, we have to deal with complications, which pretty much means people on Patreon can submit complications and really mess us up. So if you're only help out the show, come over live, come help us out in the game, try not to let us die. And of course, if you can't make it live, but still want to hear the complications you can put into a big pool if they show up, is at patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration to try and make us suffer. But of course, Thurston. Yes. What adventure or thing do you have for us today? <laughs> adventure or thing yeah or something. one or the other I don't you know, know if, you feel you like if you feel like phoning it the fuck in that's up to you yeah, yeah. I, you know I've, I've actually decided that uh we're gonna do charades for today's game oh. Oh, let's do that good. high school tabletop yeah. rpgs where i get it's to a be... jekyll it's a jekyll a well, jekyll see, it's when a Zoran jekyll. said thing i was thinking like an object so i'm like thurston show us the creature yeah show us something. <laughs> oh but i'm just nebulous box with some horrible thing inside you can't even call it like any particular species or thing it, 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 it's a thing it's all it is it is a object we do love we do love a creature here at raw grind speak for yourself <laughs> tanhauser <laughs> wants the flamethrower tanhauser wants the what that was a thing that was a john carpenter's the thing joke by the way all right well the question, the question is it's a, it's a great movie. Um, there's also a really good like X Files that's like very similar. Anyways, um, I've been watching the X Files again. Okay, everybody, who wants to recap for Hero Point? Nope. Sweet. <laughs> 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 nobody, All right. Nobody wants Hero right. Point. <laughs> I'm smart. You know, what? you know what? Why is Vina's you name? Spelt Wait. wrong now. Is it? I'll, 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 oh, I'll shit. I'll, I'll <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> did you have to redo the overlay? Uh, I use an old file. <laughs> oh, no. And no. I quickly try to do it. Now it's wrong. <laughs> Hold up. I'll fix so it. I'll fix I, it. I, 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 now I now I'm just wondering did that happen for the last game, too? Did we no, all it was it? right the last game. Oh, okay. I'm just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. We're gonna make no headway today. It's Hold on, everyone. Hold on. Calm we're... down. Calm down. I'm about to get a hero point. I'm about to do the recap. Good. Okay. Man. This okay. recap, by the way, mm -hmm. is sponsored by Wendy's. If you love Wendy's, Thanks. sign up to become oh, a Wendy's no. rewards member. Every dollar you spend, don't have a Wendy's It's free yeah. Wendy's food. We don't have okay. a Wendy's. We so don't what Wendy's. happened last time on Rot Grind, sponsored by Wendy's? Uh <laughs> We don't have a Wendy the, sponsorship. The party, which ironically is also sponsored, but not by Wendy's, by a lesser power, um, continued on their oh, yeah, adventure like a Burger King party. Through, through the mansion. You know, <laughs> that's a lovely edit you got there. Uh, <laughs> the um, as, as we continued, we bounded upstairs. Um, going up the stairs, we encountered a series of doors. Doors that Baldrick sponsored by Wendy's and Vina, also sponsored by Wendy's, decided to ex take a look through and see which ones were locked. And we noticed that there were presences on the other side of the doors. So when they came back and delivered the news, we trusted them. Like you can trust Wendy's whenever you order online or on the, the app, up, man. one of the trusted <laughs> delivery <laughs> partners. Like, it's like, 
I'm gonna uh, I'll find out all the god sponsorships are actually just fast food sponsorships. It's like no, I can revive to the fucking McDonald's fryer. <laughs> now, the uh, when they came to us and we decided to move forward, at that point there was a series of m a sense of momentum as these varying figures decided to try and take a take a slice out of us, like from a pretzel baconator or a loaded nacho single cheese. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm calling. I'm cutting this bit now. We spent right, too right, much man. time. All right, we're taking okay. this thing. Basically, we entered inside of the mansion and went through several <laughs> went through several doors, exploring more and more. We had another engagement with our lovely raccoon fellow and as and after we went upstairs we got ambushed by several of the what were they called one more time thurston the ninja folk you do yeah those things and we found out that they were not just humans they were like rots creatures of some sort that created puddles whenever they expired and i believe a slash where we left off still above the second story of the mansion on the sort of overlay fog was at the bottom of the uh of the foyer and we were just trying to figure out uh, where next to go. Yeah. Um, okay. So I like that Chad Wait. is now talking about the concept of negative hero points. That's good. Um we also <laughs> arrived into the bedroom. That's right. Right to the bedroom. Oren acquired a Tugbert plush. And we find that it was uh, Sandal Declan's old childhood room, if I remember correctly. And yeah. uh, we investigated and various found, things uh... and hints of like old old fairy tales and old things regarding the fae or fae creatures if i remember right yeah you found various um like children's book and fairy tale books um some of the the black papacy of golgotha um sky pirate books uh fae fae you know little little fae books talking about tooth fairies and other uh creatures and then you also found a um another another book let me um, you found the adventurer and the assassin, which was where we ended up leaving um, last session. You got this kind of fun handout here of uh, a portion of a uh, of of that of that that kind of fairy tale book. And uh, we will begin here. Um, Oren, give yourself a hero. Yay! Yippee. Do, do I do I get yeah, yeah. speaker? I speaker, should speaker. Get wait, 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 wait. See, you're you're ruining you're ruining because I was gonna say speaker. You get a hero point, and your hero point is brought to you by. <gasps> I'm aiming a gun Me. at you. Charles. <laughs> well, I, I, oh. I guess we'll just have to have it your way. Yeah, exactly. I get, I get the, the fuck up. <laughs> I will murder you. Zoran, I know, I know you don't enjoy this bit. I know you don't enjoy this bit, but personally, me, I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm <fucking laughs> Always hey. fresh, never oh. frozen since 1969. I, I hate all of you. <laughs> <laughs> this campaign is fucking uh, over, something man. Is, something's in the air today. Are we yeah. good? Do we need a yeah. second? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. What I makes, think what makes you think better. things are okay? <laughs> Wait, the, camp, going the campaign's my local over. Jack in the box. <laughs> All right, I gotta go get go the presented character sheet. It's time to bring the pants back. All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna yeah. go. Uh, I'm gonna go to the local uh, diner. I'll see you later. Oh, uh, the local yeah. diner. Yeah, the local diner. The local diner. I love drinking. <laughs> So as we begin, um, you've just hell. made these discoveries. You'd also found a secret door leading out of Sandal Declan's washroom. Um, and that was where we'd left off. The fog has now dissipated with the defeat of uh, Amelne, the, the leader, uh, supposed leader of the Guild Duel Assassins in this in this area. So I'm going to pass it over to you on how you wish to proceed. Wait, Ark had a great thing in chat. You oh, say that no. the party is just five guys. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> 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 All right, that that one was good. Hero point for that yeah, chat. Good job, Mark. Uh, good, good job. Yeah, that gets a hero point. Yeah. Age of Empires two, start the game already. <laughs> sound effect. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I think we have. Uh, we haven't gone into the rooms that some of the assassins emerged out of, like this and over here. Correct. Yeah, so, so you haven't gone to to either of the like the the northern. Uh, well, yeah, sorry, yeah, the I'm doing the 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 eastern rooms. This is like 
not lined up correctly because it's not yeah yeah yeah, yeah. this this is technically north here um but yeah so you haven't gone to, to either of the eastern rooms here there's sort of a closed door over here um the assassins have sort of come out of guest rooms the door uh to your immediate south that one there has been blown open by a tactical coring charge um yeah you kind of have, have, have the uh the pick of the pick of the litter so to speak on where you want to go next i'm right. going to the alchemy room because there was alchemy and i want to look at it oh yes yeah before absolutely. before agony sets in and the room uh, set themselves aflame once more i'm gonna peek in here all right it's just a bathroom i wash my hands and i'm gonna go out with Tan uh the bald rig bald hauser okay bald hauser <laughs> i don't want bald hauser, bald hauser. <laughs> yeah, yeah. the people's toupee <laughs> <laughs> Orin's going to hold on to his Tugbert plush with glee. Aw. You like That's that one? Fun. Yeah. It reminds me of something I had. Never mind. And he just kind of sheepishly kind of like turns away. <laughs> oh, come on. Plushies are an all ages thing. You never stop liking things that are soft. Are you sure about that? What? Do I, you sleep on a rock? Well, actually, you're you're a tree, so I don't, guess I don't that... even sleep. I I like put my stuff in the ground, or I just kind of shut down. You're what right. Do you you're, you're, I can't even you're, use a bed. You're, okay. You're, you're, you're the wrong person to talk to about this. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm walking away. I don't want to interrupt the RP here, but I I want to point out something that immediately came to my mind as I opened up this door, and I think it's because you fuckers keep talking about Wendy's. Uh, I saw this like table in the center that appears to have a book and like what was obviously like a paint bucket in it with a paintbrush and my first thought was damn that's a lot of ketchup and a paintbrush to go on that sandwich I'm gonna investigate the alchemy, alchemy room the new oh, title fuck a, for this episode oh fuck a fun. sink I better wash my hands <laughs> and watch bonus <laughs> yeah watch watch bonus okay um God damn it. Uh, do you want to give me a perception check as you enter? So you enter this room uh, for audio listeners. Um, the walls here are lined with um, wooden shelves. There's kind of, um, I would say, waste by uh, tables <laughs> that are loaded up with alchemical substances. There's some vials, mortars, and pestles, various substances. Books are sort of strewn about. There's some paper on a, on a stone table in the center of the chamber, along with some, like, alchemicals that have been sort of smashed together. Um, yeah. I assume, yeah, a Tannhauser, you are detecting magic. Wub, 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 wub. I um, will give you a 28 on that perception check. Okay, yeah. So, once again, a couple of things going on. You're able to find several um, alchemical components and similarly related goods. Um, you can you give me a crafting check to sort of just review some of the alchemicals your alchemical substances and such you're looking at. happily let me take a look sure uh let's see i got the alchemist goggles and a chemical savant yeah both both will apply Ooh. uh that's a 41 i think that's the first 40 oh. we've breached oh yeah Ooh, um Lord. So you are able to do, like, a very quick, efficient analysis of everything in this room. Um, the alchemical supplies here are of incredible, incredible quality. As you're going through this, um, you guess there is no less than 750 gold pieces worth of raw materials in here. Ah, excellent. Finally. Um, so I'm just going to kind of like add this as a treasure because it's not gold, but it's like alchemicals. Orin, um, is uh, sorry, Orin's walking okay. in and he comes up to one of the things, he's like, huh, What's this, Mr. Baldrick? And he picks up one of the vials and <laughs> starts sniffing. It oh, smells that... weird, yeah. That's uh, that's uh, <clears throat> that's guano. He falls over. No. Okay. He can't stand the smell of poop. <laughs> I can't take it no more. Um, he falls. Oh okay. Uh, there are a couple other items in here that seem to, uh, you know, take you take immediate note. 
them as you kind of start looking them. Yeah, presumably uh, this journal, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's, there's another, another torn piece of paper. Um, there are several other consumables. I'm going to start moving them over onto the sheet. Um, there is some wyvern poison extract. Hmm. Um, there, <laughs> there is what you can see. Um, is like the, um, the dust salvaged from the remains of a destroyed lich. You're a comedian, you know that? I am. I'm such a comedian. Um... I, I, want, I want to give this context to chat real quick. <laughs> uh, I was pointing out how when I was built, working on my character in Path Builder, how like you can have access to under poisons like an item, uh, like a poison that is made out of the destroyed remains of a lich. And I, I was, I kind of offhandedly commented to Thurston, man, that's weird. Who just has that? <laughs> right? Sandal and now Thurston back. is trying to get me in a gotcha and he succeeded and I'm furious. Good. It's good. Um, so along with that, um, there is another object here. It is a, um, a metallic tube with a complex array of lenses and prisms. You recognize this as an item called a sun dazzler. A sun dazzler, you say? Excuse yes. me while I look up what that is. Yeah, I've just put it in there. It's um, it's an alchemical item. Basically, um, you can like load load it with a, a sunrod, um, and you can basically like burn the sunrod dust to have a focused like 30 foot cone of, of light um that creatures have to make a save uh while they're in or they become dazzled or possibly even blinded oh cone of flashbang basically very nice exactly yeah yeah, yeah. Um, just a lot of different like varying alchemical alchemical substances in here but the, the the primary was the the like sheer amount of raw materials it's only about two bulk worth of materials so you're able to like gather it together for for loot related purposes um with your crit success though you recognize that um like between this the the lich dust the poison there's a lot of um there's a lot going on with um things related to like human tolerance or like mortal humanoid tolerance i should say like testing out what a body is capable of trying to put it through some traumas um mm. Yeah, like see, like get, getting that sort of sense. Then you see that there is another uh, paper, uh, which I will do the uh, fun thing here and we'll show you this. But I will also um, make sure that you have text entry here. Uh, someone wants to go and read that. You can go. Right yeah, Baldrick's, the Baldrick's reading it. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Let's see here. Found some new documents here. Which text is this? Uh, entry eight. You should see it. We do not have know. entry eight text available. Oh, one sec. Boop. Thank you. Boop. Good work now. There we if go. Not, it might be in our ships. Baldrick is going to read out to the rest of the group, whoever is a crowned for nearby. <clears throat> I've learned so much in so little time. The subject's resilience was astounding, and though I had to leave it behind, the discoveries were enough to point me in the proper direction. Baldrick's going to tilt his head towards Orin. There's no doubt the effects of the rock can be controlled. It's just a matter of the proper application of necessary alchemical treatments. The manor is too obvious a location, so the underlevels will need to suffice. My benefactor has completed their studies in the family archives below and seem quite content with the completion of our arrangement. Their arrangement into the ancient archives we stored below is of little concern to me. They are mere fairy tales like those Sandal engrossed himself with as a child, which begin the teachers below and ensure my, long my longevity. My longevity, huh? Interesting. Baldur's going to pocket that note as he... Uh... As he inspects. Hmm. I have a bad feeling that we're not going to like what we find down there. Well, whatever's down there isn't going to like us much either. <sighs> well, 
Baldrick's going to roll his shoulder and you can hear a, a faint popping sound repeatedly as he reaches the same spot. I don't know about you, but I don't think we're in much of a good position to go tackling that. No, if it's anything like what Gorgamunger was, then we ought to take the opportunity to regroup. Luckily, it seems like if he's been performing these experiments on himself for a while and hasn't busted out of the house yet, we can probably spare at least a little bit. Mm. And the I fact that we've taken care of his guards. I hate to admit it, but you are correct. Staying here much longer is not advisable. But when we come back, we need to ensure this place is buried in the rubble. Um, now, Thurston, earlier you said that I mm. sensed magic. That was presumably yes. the ingredients in this room, right? Um, so, yeah, you would see that some of the, uh, like, the the the, the items that have, have been discovered. But the, the pulse of magic, as you're focusing, this is, all the alchemicals you've seen are... Actual chemicals are not magical. The pulse, which means that the magic item must not be in this room, but there are other rooms that are in kind of the area of effect of magic. Go ahead and take a look around. I'm just going to pocket everything in here. That sounds advisable. Be sure to dig through any drawers you might find. Save any documents. Anything could be of help. I already and, have uh, I'm going to start uh, ripping through the place, trying to find uh, the source of the magic. Sure, where do you want to start? Uh, I'll start in this big-ass bedroom. Yeah, so you head up uh, to to the, the room adjacent to the alchemical lab, a large, sort of austere uh, bedroom. As you as you come in, you can see that uh, there is, like, a, a walk-in washroom in here um, that is visible in the northeast corner. You can also see that there is a, um, a fine couch, uh, a table with a paper on it, um, like a nightstand. Um, there is a finely made bed, but as you walk in, can you give me a perception check, please? I would love to give you a perception check. To me, thank you. Also, you're no longer enfeebled. Yay. My man's about to fall in the trap door. Yay. Bye. I, have, I have clicked roll perception like 600 times. Uh, like, yeah, you have your thing that. popped out? Yeah, that's why. Yeah, yeah you want to yeah, pop yeah, it in. Yeah. Sorry, All the right, pop out thing's not working. 27. At 27, you say. All right, so as you come in, you can see you see the paper. But what you notice as you take your first step in here is that there is a fine sheen of dust on everything. Um, as though this room hasn't been disturbed quite some. You know, chemical lab, certainly. But this room... This room was not. Um, but it's it's not like it's been abandoned for, you know, years or something. But there's like a sheen of dust that has risen here. Possibly weeks, maybe even a few months of just complete disuse. Um, as you walk up, you can see a, a, a note. The note itself, however, stands out on the nightstand because it's scorched. Like, the edges of it look like they've been, like, caught to a flame. Um, there's also, it's very clear that the, the sort of, like, partially crumpled paper um, is on top of something just because of how it's sitting. It's almost strangely angled up, like something maybe a half inch thick is underneath the paper. Uh, sure, yeah, I'll take a look at that paper and I'll, uh, I'll whatever accoutrements are nearby it. Yeah, sure. Let's, uh, you pick it up. As you pick up the piece of paper, you can see that there is an old bronzed key underneath it. Share with you. All right. I will share with you the text too, so that. You <clears throat> Cademan. While you were away in the solitude, I completed my review of the documents you so graciously allowed me access to in your familiar archives. Know that the information I attained will be invaluable to secure in the future of Outset, and that you are no small part in a far wider plan which shall change the very face of our world. I leave you to continue your affairs here in the manor. I suspect your successes in the solitude will embolden you. 
I also hope that my agent within the solitude did not impede your efforts or interfere with your tests. Should you be setting yourself up to attempt the procedures that we discussed during our prior visitations, I once again implore you to be cautious in such actions. The rot is not something that can be analyzed by mortal minds. Be vigilant in what you do, for the ramifications could be beyond the remit of science. Still, I wish you all the best in your efforts. I shall begin enacting the final stages of my plan, based on the information I uncovered in your archives. Do I recognize this handwriting? You don't. It's very, it's very clearly, um, like, finely written. Like, it's, it's definitely someone who's had, like, an upbringing with, like, formal writing. Mm-hmm. I see. So Cademan was not acting alone. It was another operative and an agent within the solitude. Sound like anyone we know? Might be the children of the blaze. They may not be the the um what's his name? Top hat guy. Father Elort. Elort. Elort, yes. It sounds like it probably wasn't penned by Elort, but that might have been the agent. It's a possibility, but to my recollection, didn't a lot turn out to have a disdain for the rot? Well, can we ever really trust what that guy says? <laughs> yeah, no. Well, we also found this key, and I reveal it thusly. Yeah, you draw, you draw the the, the key out. It, it definitely has some kind of magical um, energy to it as you touch it. Hmm. Um, object whispers? Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, y- you know what? Also give me an a uh, cool Ar- arcana test as well. Yay! I like arcana more than a cult. Yeah. Um, Hey, that wasn't a two. That was an 18. That's a 37. Ooh. Okay. Um, one sec. So you, you begin casting casting your, your object whispers on it, and you, you try to sort of use the key as a, as a focal point. It, it does ping back. Key to the sacristy sublevels. The beginning of madness begins with but a single step. Hmm. This is the key to get to the lower levels. Make sure to take that. So maybe we'll be the only ones uh, who can get down there in the meantime. While we take our nap. Yes. Um... I'll, I'm gonna send it another magic pulse. Do I get a sense there are any other magical items within that uh, periphery? Yeah, you get a sense there's like one other thing that's probably about some. There's one more magical object that we haven't found. We should locate it promptly. Orin points um, to the door that would. Uh indicate to north of the orientation here. And he mm-hmm. taps for Hua and also motions the Vina. We're like, have we checked that door yet? Uh, don't think so. I believe we have. Hua will go through the door. Hmm? Janhauser is there. Uh, Janhauser is always there. And he was Tannhauser there. Ever, 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 <laughs> and Tannhauser was there. And also Tannhauser. Or so. we'll back away from the door and go like, uh, me and Tug will keep watch. I got it. You Tug. keep you, you keep Tug where it's safe. It's barrels. Yeah, right. Various supplies as you open up the, the, the door. Um, looks like these are more preservative supplies. A lot of them uh, appear to 
like have spoiled. There's some kind of um, some kind of food stuff that has long since spoiled here. Ugh. Um, yeah. Anything that jumps out at me is something that might have a, a particular use, or is it all just kind of spoiled food? Want to uh, want to give me one of them uh, them sweet sweet perception checks? I I would love to. I would love nothing yeah. more. Okay, cool. Then then do that. Seems pretty cool. Uh, that's that's not exceptional, but it's a twenty one. Twenty one. Okay. Um, you start you start going through, checking around, trying to find something. You're not able to find anything amongst all the barrels here. Um, it looks like it's just mostly like preservatives, like what they would have kept for like backup food supplies, maybe in here. But huh. a lot of it's spoiled. Anything that could have spoiled has spoiled. Well, I don't see shit. It uh, seems to be mostly spoiled food and extra supplies. Are you certain? You can give it a look-see if you prefer. Sure, I do have a special eye. You do have a very Aww. special eye. Well, oh, we have perception check as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, 35. Nice. Yeah, Shorahua, you come into this chamber and start... Um, start doing a bit more of an in-depth analysis, kind of looking about. You do notice something along the wall. There is what appears to be um, a brick that's out of place. Something that, like, it looks like from the, the wall, one of the, the stone bricks here is slightly, like, almost like an inch or so just, just pushed out. Hello there. And Rahul will go over to the displaced brick. And with his okay. spindly little metal fingers on his one hand, will reach into it and try and pry the brick out. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um. So as as you do, like you're able to to pull it out, and there's a small alcove in the wall. Um. This looks old. Like part of the part of like the stonework that's been here a while. Um. But then it, it seems to, like, fall down into darkness. Like, it goes in, then there's, like, a... I want to say that the brick is about six inches thick, so you pull out the six-inch brick, put it down, or all brick, uh, about a foot wide. And then, like, it goes in for about a foot and then does a 90-degree angle down, and there's something, like, almost like a chimney in the wall. Oh. Is there any way to see how far down it goes? I mean, like, you could arrange something if you had, like, a mirror and a light, or if you wanted to, like, stick your hand in and kind of reach down. Orin comes up behind Rahua. He goes like, what'd you find, Rahua? It looks to be there's some kind of secret passage, or at least a secret alcove here. I, it drops off something, well, quite far from the looks of things. Do you have anything reflective on you, Orin? No, no, that's Tannhauser's thing. But I know what I can do to help out. I transform into a bug. <laughs> okay. Bug time. I'll do oh, thank you. <laughs> no! Oh, I hate him. <laughs> You're like that one, like, what's that one 3D animation of that one kid? Yeah, from fucking out. Monster House. Yeah, I just. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Leaves. Just absolutely eats me. Uh, yeah, I'll cast Pest Form. Uh, wait. Okay. Right now. It's, it's called best form. Yeah, it is. Which let me uh, I guess that would be it's a, just a, a little guy. Yeah, a little focus mm -hmm. spell. And uh, for this, I can turn. Oh, I did it twice. Uh, basically, you turn. To, uh, you at heightened level four, you can turn to a flying creature. It says it's a bird, which grants you a flying speed of twenty. Uh, I can basically turn into like a cat, insect, lizard, or rat. You can decide the specific type of animal. Says so it's a rat or praying mantis. Has no effect. Da da da. But just to keep things simple, I will um. I'll turn into like a little sparrow. Little sparrow, at least okay. something that can kind of see, and I'll kind of like, like right up into it and just kind of like look in. Yeah, sure. Um, you you peer down. Um, I assume like there's some like light source behind you or what. Actually, I'll turn to a spider um, with chat's recommendation. Thank you, chat. Yeah, like kind of like you can see that about six inches past the, there's a drop and nestled near the bottom um you see the 
the face of a female figure peering up at you um but her Ooh. face is covered by two um two straps of of cloth that go around her eyes and as you're looking at this you're you're clearly shocked like i don't know your spider form skitters back a little bit oh but that's you realize one of my fears that i hate that <laughs> yeah that that it's not actually like a woman but like it's an engraving on the front of a book and there's a tome that has this cover that is like staring up at you blindedly, basically. Say, I relay the, I relay the information to Rahua. Uh, I should go like uh, with my little spider. I mean, it's like maybe if we Are get you on a rope. Speaking pest form? I have no fucking clue. It doesn't specify, so I assume yes, but. Uh, if anything else, uh, Orin will try to communicate, going like, yeah, we might want to get a rope down there, and he'll try to figure it out. Okay. I, is, is there room enough, like, if I come out of pest form, would I have room to maneuver down there, or? Like, like you could, you can see that, like, the the, the banded, like, the wrappings over the, the sort of indented um, face on the front of the book uh, are cloth, and they look to be fairly sturdy. Like, you could probably go down there as, like, a spider and, like, Put rope between it and basically like pull the thing up that way. Okay, I would like to try that then, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. please, please, please. Uh, give me, I don't know, uh, uh acrobatics or athletics, probably. Maybe thievery. Uh, um, a lot of options there. Let's see. Uh, we'll go with the highest one I have, acrobatics. Yeah. Uh, that is a 19 for a total of 35. It did do soaring shape, so I'll take that minus away to 34. Yeah, so you you pull this up, um, and then there is there is this yeah this 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 tome that kind of hits the floor with a, a resounding thud as uh, as you do that. Triumphantly, uh, so it's outside of the hole and stuff now, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, Orin turns back to normal. And uh, okay. he kind of like like poof, poof, uh, dust off the book, and he'll open it, just being curious what's inside. Uh, yeah. So as you as you open it up, um, you can see that the the book has um several pages of text that are in kind of a like strange, almost spidery script language. Um, it's it's not one you're familiar with. Who could you read this? He like turns the book over and just. Oh, uh, can I determine what language this is? Can I give you like a call knowledge or? Yeah, what skill do you want to use? Uh, I would like to use. Uh, <clears throat> maybe. Art. Anna, if it seems yeah, to be yeah, ab absolutely. Kind of uh, what what is your what is your trained status in our Anna? I am I am trained, so I have a. Plus you are trained, one. okay. So if you're trained, you you pick this up and you realize that this is like arcane scripting. Um, this would be similar to like what a spell book would have. Hmm. Um, as you read it, you can see that the first few pages are, um, perhaps more of a, um. Like a, a a primer, like they aren't spells themselves. And then as you get further in, you can see that there's listings for arcane spells. Interesting. Oh, it looks to be that we found a spell book. Oh, if only we had a wizard. If only we had a wizard. And if anybody we knew who knew arcane magic. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> just emerges from the shadows. Tannhauser. Looking I for a wizard. Outside. For the we gotta return sleep. his book. I no. Just give that to me. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Well we gotta return it back. It's it's probably expired at the library. What? No. <laughs> when have you ever returned anything you have ever stolen? That'd be a lot of things. He kind of like kicks the ground a little bit. 
<laughs> no, 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 no. This is a spell book in the evil manner. And as it happens, I have some wizardly training. Perhaps I could make use of it. Is You're a wizard? You're Why a you wizard? Like a weird robot. Or, no, I'm Orin's a naked. eyes like, light up. <laughs> he thinks you're way cooler now. He's like, oh, he's a wizard. He's a wizard. I am a wizard. wizard. No, do, I, do a magic spell. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, uh, set my head on fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, set his head on fire. Uh, all right. I, I cautiously cast produce flame. <laughs> To set your head on fire? Whoa! <laughs> Does he set my head on fire? Um, give me a, <laughs> a Stop 14, 14 damage. Because <laughs> yeah, I... yeah, he sets your head on fire. Whoa! He it is turns. a wizard. Oh, That's ever, so cool. Oh, he's ever saw you stab things. Well, yes, but you would notice how when I stab things, there's lightning most of the time. I thought you were making him effects. What? <laughs> you, thought, you thought I was just doing effects for fun? He kind of looks down sheepishly. <laughs> yeah. What about those times I I cast haste on various members of the party, or or made my well, I I suppose I am a robot. You can't. Quite I thought it's your robot time. powers. Yeah. Well, I thought so you just gave people stimulants. I thought you were yeah. like a drug addict. Yeah. Wait, you've been thinking the entire time I'm a drug addict? Yeah. I mean, you always talk about revolution. I mean, you have very lofty ideals. You're constantly in a murderous rage. Frankly, I just thought you were on a bender. Yeah, I thought you were hopping stuff the entire time with the tube that goes to your face and stuff. It's kind of jealous, I, not going to yeah. lie. And you never... I, you thought that I was a serial drug abuser, and you never attempted an intervention? Well, we, we thought you were happy. You know? We thought that'd be, you know... What you want? No, you you like kill people who go against what you want. I'm not gonna fucking get in the way of that. That's that crazy. Yeah. Yeah. If I were a drug addict, yes, I might try to kill you for intervening. Fair enough, I suppose. Well, yes. Big surprise. I am magic. <laughs> <laughs> wow. you, you hear a, you hear a shout from down the hallway as Baldrick is still shoveling things into his pack, and he hears you guys having this asinine conversation. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck are you guys talking about? Baldrick, you knew I was matching, right? Yeah. But why didn't these two? Because they're stupid. You knew he was a wizard? I want, Why I didn't you tell us? Need a wizard. Well, I'm not quite a wizard. I've had wizardly oh. training. Oh, I'm you're a not mate. a wizard then? Well, I mean, no, I mean, if you're sort of a wizard, can you set my head on fire? Is that something you could do? I yeah. can't already wait to wash my on hands on you people. <laughs> uh, For who remembers okay. that his head is set on fire and is still taking persistent fire damage. Yeah, oh my know, gosh, you are a wizard! Take like 1d4. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so cool! Our art pats the fire out. Yeah, take a, I guess another four hit points, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> You're rolling maxes, speaker. You're rolling maxes. You know, I I teleport all of the time. It's like one of the major things I do. I thought you were just fast. I thought that's what magicians do. Yeah. <laughs> Did you, like, Fucking explain? Goku just moving too fast yeah. to see. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like you to explain to me the difference between a magician and a wizard. Orin thinks real hard about it. He's like, oh, that's a good question, actually. Thurston, uh, can I use my last coring charge to cut this conversation short and blow a hole in the floor so we can leave? I, I mean, sure. Is the fog still down there? No, no, the fog, okay. the fog is gone. I've and got it, my whole dungeon ahead of me. No, you don't, you stupid bitch. The fog <laughs> is there. Wait, wait. Anyway. It's like, yeah. No. It's like, no, no, no. The fog, the fog remains until we decide what the difference between a wizard and a magician is. Oh, hang on. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. No, I'm, I'm not letting you do that to me. It's like, Orin leaves the room kind of uh, like... Hang on. That, I, I that's an we empty both, coring charge. I, I imagine me and Rahua leave the room... Uh, and in orange like i 
I can't believe it was a wizard. He's so cool. <laughs> I know. He's so cool. Wow. He still kind of puts me on edge a little bit, but he's a wizard, so I guess he can get away with it now. He's our friend, though. I also Rua. appreciate you yelled right by Vina, like, hey, Baldrick, did you know, like, Vina's standing there? <laughs> Just completely bypass her. Vina. Vina, you, you knew I was magic, right? He's a wizard. He's a wizard. He's being it's so cool. I'll uh, be honest, I thought explosion, it was Explosion, explosion, explosion. Uh, there's a detonation. <laughs> there's a small bomb that goes off and destroys a small portion right, of this. bit's over. <laughs> <laughs> What's in the book, Mr. Tannhauser? That's a great fucking question. As a wizard, <laughs> I feel like or I'm... Magician. Or a I mean, magician. I thought you said you weren't really a wizard. Well, it's kind of complicated. Anyway, as as whatever I am, I'm going to roll some dice. Well, I wouldn't say that. I the that's I, a fucking one mood. of our fellow chat members said <laughs> I should have taken my Adderall for this stream. Uh, <laughs> I listen, man. I drank coffee before this stream, and now I got one of them ADHD headaches. Woo! Let's you roll. know, I I feel like this Simpsons bit where like Otto is pointing to this like things like, "Whoa, man! You guys made a talking dog. What were you on when you created this?" We just finished eating a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> so, so Tutel just walked in here and put a glass down in front of me, and with like you know drinking it. I'm like, what's this? Oh, a rum and coke, courtesy of the Discord. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> really All righty. So, um, as, as as you kind of come out with it, with this book in tow, um, Tanos, I assume you just start, like, flipping through it. Um, yeah, yeah. So, so this is... This is a grimoire. Uh, it contains... Uh. A variety of spells in it. Um, so it is a it is a spell book. It can hold up to one hundred spells. It has far far fewer spells than that. Um, however, it does have several spells which I will um, which which I will certainly pass over to you so that you are aware of which ones you have. Um, and I will like drag those over to you sheet as appropriate but um you've got a you've got a good amount of, of new spells as you're flipping through i'll give you the the sort of quick highlights um as, as it were you have a um sending that exists in here hey, um, hey! that is a spell that allows you to uh send messages over fairly fairly long distances um Along with that, you can also. There's also a uh, detect scrying spell, so you can detect if you're under, say, magical surveillance. That's um. There is a veil of privacy spell that uh, you know, protects you from magical detection. I'm sensing a theme. Yeah, yeah, right? It very very interesting. Someone <laughs> hidden in an old <laughs> chimney didn't want to be found. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um there's a clear audience uh spell which allows you to like hear through invisible magical sensors. Um there is a clairvoyance spell that uh, that yeah. allows you to see through an invisible <laughs> magical sensor. Our, our chat mm. member says magical VPN. I would change it to spell VPN. So you just sponsored us with a magic book. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Um, yeah. So so you see like all of these uh, variety of spells. Those are the, 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 the primary spells. I've just moved them over your spell so you have access to them now. But um. What you know about this book that is interesting is, is as a grimoire, it's not only a spell book, but it is a type of uh, spell book that when you prepare your spells, it can give you a special benefit. So in this case, um, as a free action, if you if you prep your spells through this, and you can move all of your spells over into the book, so you could prepare everything you have out of this book. Um, basically, once per day. Um, if your last action was like a divination spell, which, okay, little asterisks here, spell schools don't exist in, in Pathfinder uh, Remaster, but like if it's a divination-like spell, like say one of the themed spells in this book or something like True Strike, um, you can, as a free action, as part of casting that spell, 
you can do a seek or recall knowledge action for free once per day. How interesting. Yeah. And what exactly is the mechanism that allows this to happen? Is there like a gem on the front or? No, so that's that like portion at the beginning of the book that is a bunch of treatises on, on what is the analysis of destiny. Um, and the idea of looking into one's future through destiny, there's a lot of conceptual notes on that in here. So those first few pages before the spells are sort of treatises that you can, like, basically encode into your brain in, in the same way that you encode spells. It just gives you this beneficial extra effect. So that's the benefit of a grimoire, is that it is a spell book, which, you know, is in, of itself a powerful item, but it's a spell book that gives you, like, a, hey, once per day, or maybe, you know, later on, like, once per hour or something, you can get, like, a perk out of it. That's very interesting. I will have to um, figure out whether I want to find... Is there any way, perhaps, I could transfer these things to my already existing spell book? Well, so so in this case, like the the grimoire itself, like this this book is is the thing you could transfer all of your spells from your spell book into this thing, no problem. Okay. Like the actual this book itself is the magical item. Mm. I take a look at my little red spell book that has served me so well throughout this journey. I take a look at the big book. Mm. We'll need to make this book red somehow. I thought you were gonna do the, the thing where like that, that Toy Story perspective. Like I don't want to cast from you anymore, and like drop the book. <laughs> <laughs> I would have also accepted like, uh, just throws it into some nearby fireplace, and then other someone else is like, "Dude, you didn't copy your spells yet." Oh no! <laughs> well, you know these things happen. Um, out of curiosity, and I don't mean to slow us down too much, but I do have two things I'd like to do before we move on. Yes, of course. Um, the first one, now that I have access to this spell, uh, and given that we're kind of in a non-combat situation, um, can I potentially cast one of the spells here? Uh, so you would need to, to do, like, preparation. So that would be one of those cases of you'd have to spend, like, a long eight hours before you could cast those spells. Okay, totally fine. Um, the second thing is I'm going to look down at this. All right, everyone, I have a completely potentially time-wasting thing that we need to do purely because my instincts are screaming at me right now. Yeah? We've just found a spell book that contained a variety of different means to evade detection, yes. We have faced right. off against a series of rot-infected assassins. Assassins that are typically bodyguards. Yes. Correct. But or not. Are they guarding? Well, I would assume Grandpappy Declan. You would assume that, and yet he is not here. Now, it is highly probable that there is no one up here, and that really any further investigations would simply be a waste of time. But if I were Grandpappy Declan, and I were up here, I, with access to these powers, would make myself invisible and wait for everyone to leave. Therefore, I advise a very quick and brief tangent. I invite you all to do as I do. I walk into this room, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to start running around at random with my arms flailing, just... Do the helicopter <laughs> method, just yeah, spin just, like you're sitting yeah. here somewhere, you mother. Yeah, somewhere, 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 somewhere. Rahua, <laughs> Rahua, Rahua, can you give me a wisdom check, Rahua? Just like a d20 <laughs> plus your wisdom modifier, please. Okay. Okay. His yeah, hair's okay. We set him, him on fire and it never went out. He's dead. I'm dead. Yeah. Can can you give me that that wisdom check, Hulky? No. Okay. Oh, all right. I, I can't actually do that. Right. Hold on. No, oh, sorry. Um. Oh, well, D20. that's okay. It's D twenty plus four. I'm not very wise to be in in all yeah, fairness. Yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course. Oh my God! Please cooperate with me today, Foundry. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah. Hey. Uh, hey. Um. Oh, 
the fuck that was a three out. for audio. Oren, yeah. Uh, Oren, can you give me the same thing, a D20 plus four? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, that's yeah, yeah sure please, please. Four. Yeah. <laughs> Natural 20. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, like, as the spider who went into the wall and got the book out, you recognize that, like, that book had been there for a long time. It was not like a hidden yeah. thing that someone in this house accessed. Like this is like the house was built around it, and that book had been there like for generations. Yeah. Mr. Tannhauser, I know Tannhauser. you're in here. And it's, I rip open the bathroom door. He's what? Like, he's constantly chasing you as you're spinning. And like yeah, Tannhauser, yeah. Tannhauser, like th this book's like the, the book's like really old, and it, it, it was probably here way before. And even so, he would probably wouldn't be in this room. Yeah, there might be, be anywhere. There you might be, be anywhere. There might be a basement, ah! Mr. Ted Hauser, that we might look for inside of the building. And, and, and if we, Mr. Ted Hauser, or like stomps his his bird foot down and does gal blast, like, whoosh. Ted Hauser looks at him. Not going to be here, Mr. Ted Hauser. If he was going to be anywhere, he would probably there probably is a hidden downstairs or something that he might be hiding in it's what one of the pieces of paper said remember Tannhauser puts a hand on your shoulder Orin you have learned a valuable lesson today about being assertive I appreciate your judgment please don't you beat me up very well and I'll retract my arm. <laughs> <laughs> so I want I want to reiterate. What are we doing? Well, I, I would say it is worth maybe doing a quick sweep and see if we missed uh, any invisible people. Uh, but otherwise, you know, I think we go and take a quick nappy before we go and uh, find the entrance oh. to the downstairs and fight Cademan. So... Uh, Oren kind of addresses the group like, well, normally in our hunts, we're a bit tired. So, and we know that whoever we're looking for is probably still either in this building or somewhere else. But if they haven't come out of the building, that means they're trapped. So we can just take what we can, try to sell it and get some stuff for prepare, to prepare because I need a little rest because we're going to deal with more rot stuff. I need to get us ready with our Monsi weapon enchantments. So right. next time we come here, we're a lot more prepared. So I recommend that I can at least kind of tangle up majority of the entryways here so no one else can fall victim to this place. We go off, go get some stuff, go get some stuff, set off what we can, get some materials, and then come back later. And that's uh, searching around for any other entrances to, you know, where the guy is. Also, yeah. we can, Mr. Baldrick, I don't think this building needs to exist anymore once we're done. So it also yeah. gave us time to prepare for that as well, because we didn't we didn't know what we were running into. But now we have an idea. Well, I was prepared to blow this place up originally anyway, but you know. Oh. <laughs> did you did you not notice the the coring charges that I have been using with reckless abandon throughout this building? I am prepared to level this place. Oh yeah, we should definitely blow this thing up. Oh, agreed. I think Even that it, it needs to be cleansed. Oh, yeah, Christ. no, we should kill everybody inside and burn it down. Regardless, let's get a move on. It's a shame. I was hoping to use this as a forward base for the revolution, but it seems like the rot is simply too powerful here. Anyway, let's all go because I'm sure <gasps> no one's down this hallway. Okay, no one's down this hallway. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <so scary>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna use my last crystal shards to throw at him. Okay. <laughs> But I think that's, I, I think if, if we all agree with that plan, we're basically going to try to lock this place down. Orin wants to kind of like uh, do Tanglefoot, basically, to try to like secure the doors yeah. and stuff. I'll, yep. I'm, I'm a, I understand it's like a duration. I'm, I would like to spend a narrative declaration to do that, if that's okay. Just to be like, I'm going to oh, yeah. druid this up so all entryways are secured. Also, like try to awkwardly like open the one door, see the outhouse there. I'm imagine he's like right at the door, like, hey, I'm like, I'm just I'm just sealing it up. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> yeah. Um, so so yeah, you, you you begin sort of this this last push around here. As as this occurs, um, and you're like starting the, the boarding up process, Oren, uh, you can see that out in the courtyard, the skeletons sort of greets you at the entryway. 
Uh, and you remember the skeletal servant who you'd met previously. Hey, man. Are we all outside at this Hello. point? Hello. Yeah. We're, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll, I'll, You're all Baldrick, out in the courtyard now. Yep. Baldrick will walk up to the skeleton. Okay. We're leaving for now. We'll be back. Very good. We, uh, we leave. Sure. Will that come back to life and he will point at the fountain? No. Good. Well, uh, are we going to bring on. that one guy that we saved on the couch? Is he, he there? Down? He's not there anymore. Oh. Terrific. Instead, there's He's... like a puddle on the couch. Oh. Ah, uh, poor bastard. The fucking raccoon. His stain will never get out of that couch. Oh, well. Well, we, we tried with that, and it was a waste of time. Let us move on to greener pastures. All right. Can you ensure that nobody accidentally wanders in here? Uh, there's definitely a hell of a lot of rot in there. None will enter. Except, uh, except us. Yeah. Yes, you have proven yourselves worthy to enter. All right. All right. Thanks, homeboy. I'm going to slip him a silver. Okay, okay. So, uh, is the is the plan back to Baldrick's house now? Yep. Yes. Okay. I love our house. <laughs> it's always our house. It's always the people's house. In the There's middle gonna be some... of the plaster. Our house. I'm, I'm going to take a shovel and start digging, like, four holes in my, in my What's fucking that? floor. What's that hole for, Mr. Baldrick? Holes. You. But me? Oh, you. like, Orin lays in it. Like a bed. Thank you, Mr. Baldrick. Bedtime. Terrific. <laughs> I leave. Anyway, back to Baldrick's house. Back to Baldrick house. <laughs> All right. The people house. All right. Yeah. So um, I keep changing the name of it, so I have to find the 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 name of the file. It's probably the people's duplex because that's it's the currently joke that... the people's duplex. Yes. Yeah, that's the joke you fuckers were running. <laughs> we can't kill, fucking yeah. call it the people's tenement. Yeah, because a tenement's much bigger. Also because tenements are bad. It could be bigger. You could let us expand. We could knock down more walls. Exactly. I could also I repurpose you into planks and lacquer you and use you on the floor. You may certainly try, Stinky I will boy. succeed. I do more damage than you, dumber. I'll kill you. <laughs> I tried to say dummy. And I said <laughs> you dumber. dumber. You dumber. <laughs> okay, you dumber. Dummy. <laughs> anyway. All right. Uh, with that being done, Baldrick's going to take the pile of alchemical supplies that he's obtained, and he's going to go into his workshop and slam the door shut. Then he's going to open the door and lean out. You guys may need to do some other things to prepare. I'm making alchemicals. So, you do that. You have my All permission right. to use whatever money we have scattered about to do whatever. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Baldrick will come past the the kitchen and he will nod his helmet at at uh oh for crap's sake I forget everyone's names already we've been at, we've been away too long friends well a few no. things happen you come out and you see in the hallway crunch is emerging from the secret door mm -hmm. um because you've erected a wall back between the tenements but crunch has now come from the secret wall um as you come in you can see that um Mar Marlene and your little uh, Yasuki friend have been hard at work um, with pamphlets on the table for the revolution. Meanwhile, uh, Duhakis the gargoyle has been um, sitting there, like referencing several esoteric tomes. Oh, you're back! And, and like turns to you as you like stride by Baldrick, and then Crunch, who's like trying to awkwardly stumble over it over the desk that kind of blocks part of the the hidden door. <laughs> you're back! You're back! We're not back for a long period. We're probably back for like a day or two. I need to prepare some things. We're going back. It's not done yet. Yeah, nope. shit's rotten. Oh, oh. It's, it's terrible. Yeah. None of, none of you are rotten, right? Uh, not currently, no. We, we got that all fixed up. God, don't get rotten. That's not good for you. Duhakis sort of shouts from the, uh, 
the dining room. Right. Anyway, Crunch, ladies, Rat Boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> As he enters his wub room. <laughs> Exactly, his gamer pad. Wow, bro. <laughs> mm. All right. So, uh, I, I want to I want to quickly just set this up so I can leave you guys free to like do whatever you need to do. Uh, Thurston, with these alchemical supplies, what would you say I could get away with creating as a permanent potion or throwable or whatever? I mean, you've got formulas for a bunch of stuff, so. I guess the kind so of cool. I'll 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 raise you a, a supplies list that I'm going to try and put together, and I will use money or whatever is necessary to put together whatever I can't. Okay. That's not fair. For sure. Yeah, for sure. I will I will message that to you in the chat. You okay. go go ahead and tackle them, and you can just let me know. Okay. All right, and the rest of you. So like, Baldr comes in and immediately just off into the. Uh, into the wub wub room. What are the rest of you? Um, hey, Crunch. About how long does it take for you to aff uh, affix a rune onto something? Oh, 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 oh. probably a better part of a day, roughly that. I mean, I could do multiple at once. I'm very skilled, you see, with this hammer. I just go clang, 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 and then I, you know, et etch them on and. It doesn't take that long at all. I suppose if you had to quantify it in a specific time process. Is this a rune that you have on its own? Is this one that I'm moving between items? Oh, really uh, well, I think beefing up our armor a little bit isn't a bad idea if we're about to face what I assume is some kind of rot monster based upon precedent. Um, likewise, we've... Uh... Miss Vina. Uh huh. A thing we could probably do is we can go out and go shopping and we can get a shopping list of all the stuff we need. I think we only have, like, uh, Orin will look at our, like, imaginary people's loot stash. But, like, we only got one of the runes. Right. So. And we'll probably need at least one for me and one for Tannhauser. Ideally, one for each of us. Uh. But just making sure that we should go ahead and buy that just because, you know. We're on, on a bit of a time crunch. I think Blotus might have everything we need. He's not too probably. far away. So we can probably do we are probably get a shopping list and head over to there. Also, that how many like plan. how many stamps you got? And he kinda points to the Blotus card. Oh god, how many stamps do I have? Yeah, it's like we've gone to him twice. Alright, we got we got two little stamps. Have we gotten the how many do we need for a reward? You'll have to find out when you get there. Oh. <laughs> but, All right. But looks at our card. It's nebulous. <laughs> we'll never know <laughs> what, how many how many squares oh, there are. It's All like right. I look at it and it's like liquid. It keeps moving. Exactly. <laughs> oh. There you go, Thurston. Cool. So. All right. So talk of going to Blotus. What about the rest of you? Well, I suppose it makes sense to continue on that way. Though I do have that evil spells book that I should probably do my evil You should spell probably book. read it. Yeah. Hey, so I, I guess I have to spend eight hours fucking... Hey, Tannhauser. Yes. Do you want to... Do you want to just keep me company while I work on a fun thing? Of course, but what is the fun thing? Ah, I wouldn't be surprised if I told you. Well, I'm going to watch you make it, so it won't be surprising because I will watch it being made. Okay, but trust me when I say it'll be really cool if you don't know until it happens. Excellent. I'm not going to kill you. I know you won't. Very well. I will watch you make your evil device while reading my book. Okay. And on that note, how about we take a quick five-minute break? Yippee! Yay! <laughs> We're going to answer some chat questions and stuff in our beer bat segment. But if you're watching on the VOD, we'll be back, or VOD or podcast, we'll be back in a moment. But for everybody else, don't go anywhere. And we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We are back. We're back. 
Orin will. Because uh, we're still we're still at Baldrick's house, Orin will kind of come down mm -hmm. the hallway, kind of like pitter pattering and stuff, and he'll knock on on Baldrick's door. Just a just a coom, 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 thing, Mr. Baldrick. You can just hear a voice shout from behind it. What do you want? We're gonna go out shopping. Do you need anything? No, I specifically locked myself in here so you guys couldn't get in and so you could go shopping. Or, or to kind of, okay. Just leaves. Oh yeah, so we were supposed to discuss this when everyone actually got back, but everyone was back at staggered times and then we got sidetracked again. How much time are we spending out of the mansion? Enough uh, to get all the fun rest. Yeah, my, my thought was just the night, but... You did mention that you wanted to have four days to make the alchemical. I didn't want four days. I wanted to offer that. If that's still uh -huh. too much time for people to spend doing stuff to prepare for this, that's fine. Hmm. I was imagining we would we would shop first, get everything, and then when we come home, we would do our long rest, uh, and then a day of preparation for stuff. Because we'll need time to craft some items and things and get everyone prepped. Yeah, I'm good for that. Yeah, I mean, we're in no rush. It seems like everyone is dead. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So, so long as the, the house doesn't, like, grow legs like Baba Yaga's shack. We come back, it starts rising <laughs> up. It's like, what is it's that? It's like, the house, it's not there. You're just like, well, we done fucked up. Ah, shit. What? 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 You really should have oh. rested, man. I should be over. It was a mim house. <laughs> but well, I you don't want it. The house just moves away. Assuming it doesn't bring its dumpy with it, then the basement's just mm -hmm. exposed. It's I, I am down for waiting the full time, though, so Baldur can get everything he needs so we can take care of the house after. Because if it's rot infested, uh, it's either that or we try to like contact one of the guilds uh, that come over and try to uh, take care of the rot in the outset. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm going to just, like, I'm just going to fucking prepare a bunch of coring charges the day of using my if infused ingredients and then look all that even. Yeah, we should focus mostly on murdering people, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Revolution. High five. High all five. Right. High five. So high five. To, high five. To, to, to high five. To make a decision. Are we waiting the four days or no? No. No. All right. So we're just going to do uh, the long rest tonight and then a day of prep. Sounds good to me. Yeah. All right. Yeah. After shopping yeah, and stuff. Live guys. So to to simplify things and not like go down the like the crafting rabbit hole. Don't worry. If you want to learn more about that, come come play our Kingmaker. Uh, watch our Kingmaker stuff. Um, hmm. For 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 purposes of this, let's just go with. Um, give me a crafting check, at Baldrick, and then based off of that, uh, I'll let you make four different out like up to four alchemical items. Okay, I'm going to make alchemy. Good. Here we go. Here we That's go. a 31. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. So that will be enough for you to essentially make all of those items at 75% of their cost. Very nice. I'll take it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna futz around with it. I'm just gonna say like, yeah, that's that's cheaper. I'll I'll pay. Yeah, it, 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 it's cheaper. You didn't get a crit success. I'm kind of like doing some speed running on crafting here, but I think it you know works well for for this type of campaign. So don't come at me in the comments about crafting. You make your game work for yourselves. Um, yeah, cool, cool, cool. And then the rest of you wanted to go make some purchases, right? That Two of them good. did. Yes. All right. So, uh, I assume you are heading to the blow tie. Yes. Indeed. Yes. Indeed. The five guys. Cool. The five guys. Five guys. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. We love bloaters. I will. Uh, I will. However, before they leave, give them my card to get stamps. <laughs> I don't know if it works like that, but you know, we'll try. Don't worry, I'll get your I'll get your stamp, Mr. Tannhauser. Collective action. All right. You make your way towards the colonnaded 
uh, entrance to the open market of Blotus the Fly Merchant. Uh, as you come in, the place is oddly empty for what it has been in the past, but there is a deep rumbling chuckle throughout the area as you enter. Hoo -hoo, yo -hoo there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, Mr. Blotus. Hello. What's Hello, up, there. Blotus? How have things been in your neck of the woods? Very busy, but we're very excited you've come. We're excited too, buddy. So, uh, you got anything special in the uh, stocks this time? <laughs> Come on, always got something special in the stocks. <laughs> anything particularly interesting? A sort of bloat of special, as it were? A bloat of special? <laughs> like more ominous chuckling. Well. I've got a few things. What uh, what kind of special are you looking for? All right, so we're looking for. Uh, I'm going back to the Discord to look at uh, Zoran's messages. What's so we're the Discord? The... <laughs> uh, don't worry about Mr. Blood. It's uh, it's young kid stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. So we're getting the Aeon stones. Correct. Yes. Uh. Each of the Aeon stones should be a collective amount of money that conveniently pops up on my window. Of... Uh, 60. 60 GP for the pearly white spindle? Yes, I think we want it for everybody. So. Yes. It'll be five deuterinos. 60 times. It'll be 300. Five. I'll write that down. Aeon stones for 300 GP. Ooh, you're looking I mean, the... for stones. <laughs> Do you have it, Mr. Blotus? I have all the stones. Oh. All of them? All of them. Every it... single stone. Wow. Rhomboids, pearly opalescence, hexagonimals. Hexagonimals. Those are rare. All right. Uh, let this? me tell you every time that no, you design, Rahua and has her back at the people's oh, tournament. Okay. Every time you design an Aeon Stone as like a game designer, it becomes like this crusade to find the most fucking obscure shapes ever and turn them into like stones. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you learn so many fun words. We need the, the weirdest loop. shapes. Uh, there is one of those. Yes, I believe that's like one of the twenty. And then we're going to need uh, one more armor potency rune. Oh, I have one of those right here in my back pocket. Oh, you just keep them on you. Oh, yes, you always need an armor potency rune. Just yeah. just, just a loose leaf? Just a, a raw ro a potency rune? You can etch it anywhere. Is, uh, let's see. We're basically getting the formula for it. Is that right? And then Crunch edges it, or yep. are we? You buy the rune on, like, a on a stone, and then basically ah, okay. he just transfers it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um... Uh, so we have to only get the plus one, because the plus two is a thousand something gold. So... Uh, and it's too high level for us, anyhow. Yeah, so it'd be 160 each. How many did you guys want to get everyone a fix with one for their AC? Um, do we want to do it for the whole party um because i know that we also wanted to do you mentioned the resilient runes i think that's a good idea yeah um i definitely would recommend armor potency for everybody except for orn orn's gonna be squishy no matter what so that'll be 160 times four about 640 i already have an armor potent if i'm not mistaken do you? Okay, I do. All, yep, I do. They all want to double check, yeah, because I think we've had yeah. a one or two drops. So. Yeah, because we yeah, should have some. Check. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, that is a good idea. Uh, I don't think I have the plus one armor. Oh, hey, chat. I do have plus one studded you guys, ladder. Huh? Hey, chat, you want to help out with the uh, shopping episode? Tell us what we should get at level nine. Right. <laughs> Give us recommendations. That's okay. I uh, have an idea. Please. You've got a little friend there, don't you? Looks at Oren. 
He is very small. This is going to be out of game knowledge. Did you put the collar there in the stash? Because I already took that and put it on Orin's thing. Nope, it's not. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, boy. Reverse that. Yeah, I have, I have a friend of mine. Does he like treats? Yeah. You should have this. And he pulls out something that looks to be like a granola bar if it were made from grains and meat mashed together. Oh, oh I thought you were love the pemmican. No. Okay, sorry. No, I, I he is providing you a small, like, ground bar of meat and grains. Now, I'll have to charge you, but I'll give you a very good deal. Only 40 gold pieces. Can I roll a nature check to see what it does? Like, what benefit yeah, is it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Pat, don't look. Don't look at my sheet. Pat, stop looking. Chat, look. Judge it, chat. Chat, chat, chat. That's a like 16 on the die for a total of 35. As Orin's, like, looking around this bar going, whoa. This is an item called an energizing treat. When you feed it to your animal companion or familiar, they become quickened for one minute and can use the extra action for a strike stride or a support action. That's really cool, but we got to get everything else first before we get that. If I have anything extra, I'll definitely buy some. Oh, yes, I'm just saying your little guy might like it. Get the little chomp chomp, and he kind of like goes forward and makes some like chomping gestures with his like bad teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so for Meanwhile, the buzzing flies are going in and out of the cage still. <laughs> yeah, so for resilient runes, uh, a oh god, we can't afford. Yeah, yeah, we can't afford yeah, they're they're pretty pricey. Yeah. They're they're yeah. mostly there though, but they'll be important for people who have to regularly make saves. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So beyond that, I don't think there's a ton we can dump a bunch of money on. So, uh, hopefully, Cademan drops ten billion gold, and we can all upgrade our weapons after this. So for all that we spent so far was three hundred plus four eighty, I think, for armor runes. Uh, that'll be 780. Uh, or wait, I don't think all of us actually need the armor runes because I have a plus one already. Yeah. Rahua it's... has a plus one. Okay. So Anybody be... who doesn't, we should get one for. Does Tannhauser have a plus one? I have a plus one on my weapon, but I don't have a plus one on my armor. Okay. okay. So that'll be about 620. We had a total of about like 1,276. Uh, my... Yep. Uh, my selfish need would be like a greater staff of healing, mostly because that staff will have things to help out with diseases and stuff. And it, once we start getting to these higher levels, that might become more prevalent of me getting like restoration and stuff like that. So that's what I would like to vouch for. So as I'm healing folks, I could kind of help people with like diseases and poisons and stuff. Um, to see how much that is. Oh god, I love it when it gets the wrong thing. A greater version is 470 gold. Uh, yeah, that'll bring us up to a thousand. So, is that okay with the party? And I could sell my old staff. Yeah, yeah. that's chill. Yeah, I okay. want to ask Thurston just because I'm trying to make sure of this. You did deduct like the 75 percent cost of what I'm making, right? What do you mean? <laughs> like, like I just gave you the, the the cost so it's like whatever the the things cost you would pay 75 percent of it like in raw materials okay so that's what i wanted to okay i pardon me because in total the amount of shit that i'm making is going to cost like one thousand so like if i'm uh, if you guys are spending a whole bunch then i'm just gonna have to rework my plan uh you did also get 750 gold worth of alchemicals though that's what i wanted to, i'm trying to make sure of that here because like is that paying off the majority of that Thurston, or am I still like over? I think like like if you're using those goods for it, it it pay it off pretty okay. pretty effectively. I, I, okay, good. As just long as they aren't sure. dipping into that seven fifty, I think you're good. So yeah, which I don't think like, they've touched that. So nope. I know. I just wanted to 
Just wanted to clarify that. Uh, oh, we also want to sell the Sun Dazzler. Get that 450 gold. Yeah. Uh, and, well, half uh, price, remember. Oh, yes. And our Jade thing that we have in our inventory. Indeed. Um, Orin will we'll start picking things up as he goes like, you want to check this out? You want to check it out? And maybe he kind of leans to Vina. Maybe haggle. Right, we do have something for you, Glotus, if you're interested in it. Oh, what's have you, that? Have you ever seen one of these? And I hold up the Sun Dazzler. This baby Ooh. is called a Sun Dazzler. Now, uh, careful aiming it into your eyes, but you see those beautiful prismatic colors inside. With the right lighting, they can create a great burst of light uh, in a the 30 foot cone in front of you it's a pretty useful little bobble and i think that you could definitely get a uh if not some good personal use you can definitely sell it for a hell of a lot the valuable thing mm. so um i would be willing to part ways with it for let's say around 450 gold pieces why don't you want it well, because one, I already have other means of dazzling my opponents, and I uh, a gesture to the gun on my hip. And two, because well, it's um... well, actually, I really only just need the guns, and nobody else in the party seemed interested in it. I always have to ask why, because you see, if you don't want it, then I have to think why someone else would want it. Of course, there are plenty of reasons to want it. One, it can put on a hell of a light show. So set it up in the middle of a uh, of a party, aim it at the ceiling, and boom, scintillating light. Do you like the parties? Well, I don't really have all that much time to throw them nowadays, so. Uh, give me a diplomacy check. All right. Capitalism. 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 <laughs> Barter mm -hmm. moment. Barter moments. You know, I should have just straight up lied to him. <laughs> That's a 24. Hmm. It's a very interesting item. I, I'll, I'll, I'll pay a half of the retail price for it. Half the retail price. Hmm. Ah, deal. Very good. Hand it over. It's uh, two twenty-five. Um, yeah, he takes a bite into it like it's a piece of gold to be analyzed. What, what's it taste like? Tastes like dazzling. Excellent. That's uh, what shiny right. rocks taste like. Orin says from the back, coming up with a whole bunch of the items. Yeah, just like waddling out with like all these runes and stuff. You didn't take anything, did you? Or no, looks at his no. hands full of the stuff. No. Okay. <laughs> he's like, I'm probably here to check out. <laughs> he, like he's confused. <laughs> he's scared and nervous. Yeah, the child has been accused of theft. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, all right. Um. I'll so do that, for... and I'll buy three of the treats. Yes. Buy of the treats. You will like the treats. Alright, so how many plus one armors are we getting? And then we're getting one of the, the funny rocks for everyone. The Aeon Stones. Yeah. Uh, Which Aeon Stones were you picking up for yourselves? The, the pearly spindle. white spindle. Yeah. Uh, I think everything totals to uh, 1210 for our spinatures. If I did my math right, we can triple check it later. Let's see if I uh, cheated. Yeah, because it, it may be less. Because again, we don't we don't all need to buy the armor potency runes. Yeah, I uh, here let's do this. I don't need it. Do you need it, Odo? Nope. Uh, speaker does. Uh, Ten Hounds need it. Speaker does. Uh, I probably do. Yeah. Yes, that's one. Hulky does. For who need it? Uh, for armor potency, no. And does Baldrick need it? Nope, I got a uh, resilience, I believe. Okay, we all need one then. Uh, well, the, the the other one is a plus one AC. Uh, lost how much they were. Gosh dang it. Yeah, 
It's it's not super expensive, so I would probably advise getting a plus one, because we could later upgrade that to the plus two, and it gives you more rune slots and shit. Yeah, because you want it just to put, like, uh, property, or, yeah, properties. Um, so. Indeed. Trying to find it. It's 168, so we only need one of those, right? If I get the math right, so. Yep. One of those. Uh, it'll also be... 300 times 5 plus 160. No, not that. There's right. like a cash register, and Blotus <laughs> is just like. <laughs> no, it'll be 300 total for that. Sorry, no, 300 for that. Plus 160. <laughs> Sorry, stream. I'm trying to math this for everybody as fast as I can. So that'll be 460 total. And then for the staff of healing, uh, that will be stuff healing greater is what we're getting. Uh, I want to sell my stuff of healing, and Orin will kind of <laughs> all the stuff on the ground. He'll be like, "Can I can I do like a trade in program of trading in my staff of healing for a better staff of healing? Get like a discount?" All right, I will let you trade it in to the full value since you're upgrading it. Ah, oh, thanks. And I'll give you an upgrade stamp on our new upgrade card, dude. Uh another card that's right how many squares are on the card uh give me a will save fuck oh my god a will save that's an 18 on the die for a total of 35 um the 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 non-euclidean geometry of blotus's uh latest uh card makes it difficult to pinpoint an exact number though you know it is possible in this lifetime to achieve the maximum squares on the card thinking of the exact number however makes your mind hurt so it ain't happening <laughs> it could happen and it might have already happened somewhere there is a completed yeah. lotus card somewhere in the world Orin flips his uh, his cards all the lotus <laughs> Like slides him over to get him stamped first off as, he, as he's helping finish the purchase, but uh, and he's like, "How many more do I need for to, to fill up the card?" Blotus looks at you. Yeah, <laughs> that ain't a number. <laughs> Very good. I tried my best to sneak in an answer. This fucking game master here. <laughs> this is where you're like some smart ass dude, and you're like, "Is this is this like a McDonald's coffee? Can I like?" combine them together like i've got three cards can you count the stickers on all of them <laughs> sir this is a ruby tuesdays <laughs> not a ruby tuesdays like that's gonna be an item that i will have to now put in a dungeon is the completed blotus card <laughs> absolute <laughs> essence of completed blotus card it's yeah too, it's, it's, it's for the, uh, it is too heavy to pick up okay, so <laughs> Well, he'll do that. He'll do two of the treats. Okay. Be two of the treats, two treats, 40 GP each. Okay. And that'll be a total of 920 so far. Uh, did we, we want to sell the Jade Bobble in which Orin will present the bobble and be all the like, bobble. it's like, oh, uh, you also want this, Mr. Blotus? It's like, I think it's a really good price. I think this would go for like 200 gold. Right, Vina? Have and he looks at Vina. <laughs> he screams at you, screams in your ear, ruptures your eardrums. Vina, do you want a, do you want a deception you? check to try to oh, help of your course. friends? Or do you want a diplomacy? <laughs> Are you willing to lie to the eldritch being of Blotus? <laughs> you know, that's the thing. I feel like if I lie to Blotus, I'll just get spirited away to the Blotus dimension. You don't want to go there. <laughs> You'll be a fly in the cage as exactly. we <laughs> But no, I'm just going to give him another dazzling smile. I'm just like, oh yes, the Jade Bobble. This thing, you see, it can draw attention. Isn't it so beautiful? I'm going to hold it Are you it like putting there. it on as a necklace as you're saying, look, look at this. <laughs> Like you can the use shopping it to draw, channel. You can use it to draw the attention of all of your admirers, who will be a hell of a lot more jealous if you've got this baby on, let me tell you. Or 
If you're a duelist, you could affix it to a weapon and you could draw the attention of everyone on the battlefield. Exceptionally good if you're a bit of a big tanky sort, wouldn't you say? Diplomacy check. <laughs> yeah. Oda out here trying to get things for free. <laughs> I, I don't want this to be free, Boy. actually. I want him to pay for it. No, you want to <laughs> give it to him. <laughs> That's a 27. Lotus stares at you, stares at the object, stares back at you. Isn't it beautiful? I apologize. Why don't you want it? Well, one, because you've seen the composition of my party, right? None of us are exactly tanky. So one of us taking literally every single hit from everybody on the battlefield would be bad. However, there are plenty of people who are built for it. Yes. Or... A lovely lady who is a lot more uh, in tune with the courts than myself. I'm a little more accustomed to the battlefields and the skies. Could get a hell of a lot of use of it. It would be bad if you were in a party where you were the only one who ran ahead and everyone attacked you and you died multiple times. That would be terrible. All right, I'll buy it. <laughs> All right, 100 gold pieces? 120, all will be nice. Oh, Blotus, you're my favorite. All right, and I'll hand over the Jake He has Robert. no response to you calling him your favorite. None. <laughs> okay. None. So we'll be spending 800 total so far. So we have some wiggle room. Uh, we can buy some antidotes and some potions of quickness. They're going to give us like Drink this, get haste. Do we want to buy those? Yeah, give me, give me like one of those. Okay, so let's get an antidote for everybody. We can get the moderate version, get a plus three bonus. They're 35 gold each. So if I do this right. That's for five people. That's 175. And for potions of quickness, uh, let's do, let's see how much this is for everybody. That's 90 gold each. That's 90 times five. That's 450. They'll definitely put us over. So we can get two of those probably. Yeah. And so that in a total, plus 175 plus 800, will give us to 1,155. So. Perfect. Uh, and we did just get the money from the Sun Dazzler and the, uh, uh yeah, I, I just did that in for it. So basically, all that is all we have to minus now. So. And after taxes, you should be looking at about a 40% return on two potions of thickness, uh, five potion, five antidotes, just in case, one staff of healing greater, and uh, the neon stones, one. Potency armor rune, just to make sure, and anything else that we get that I'm missing. I don't think we got any resiliences or anything else. Nothing anybody else needed. We got everything We're calculated, sure. right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. If you want to buy me some fertilizer while you're at the store, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, or on the way, we'll pick up like rotten vegetables and put it in a bag. That'll work. Ooh. Uh, Very good. So with that, I think that should do it. So I think they'll do it, Mr. Thurston. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, I think this will be it, Mr. Blotus. Uh, this thing, this thing, this thing. And here's our cards. All right, uh, let me look and uh, apply your bonus. Oh, we get a bonus? Prefer to customer. And he stamps twice. One more time. Oh. You broke up. Oh, prefer to customer. And he stamps twice. <gasps> two of them. Wow. Orin turns the Vena eyes like shining. Like, we got two. We got two. I think he likes us. 
Or I'm very like, look gleeful. over in his cold, dead eyes. There's just like a stare and this smile. <laughs> no, get out, Pip. All right, thank you, Blotus. He hugs his card. Come back soon. Bye, Mr. Blotus. Goodbye, Blotus. All right, so as that happens, uh, we cut back to Rahua and Tanhout. Um, uh, what are you doing over in the people's duplex? Specifically, Rahua, who has press gang Tanhauser. Okay. Oh. So I, I believe we last established that Rahua doesn't have a room, so to speak. He just kind of stands around. Yep. Yeah. Uh,. I think we need to make some adjustments. Oh, excellent. Okay. Now, Baldrick uh, sealed up partially the... Or did he knock it down? Did he knock it down again? The space between the workshop and Baldrick's home. The wall, where, uh, which I'm right he, next to. You have, you have, he, he forced a reestablishment of a wall. Yes, there is no open hole between the two buildings anymore. Do not make another one. I will attack you. Oh, oh, Erndil, you have no idea. You have no idea the temptation, but I'm not in the mood to die immediately with nothing. I, I know how many alchemist fires it takes to kill you. Don't start with me. <laughs> okay. Tannhauser? Yes? Because I feel the specter of Baldric's rage looming over me, follow me. Okay. Strange thing to say, but all right. So we're always going to go out the front door and go into... Conscious workshop. Okay, remember, there's also the secret path. Oh God, is, there is a secret path, isn't there? There is the secret path. Oh uh, yes, exactly. across the the bridge into the abyss. See, that yes. one's okay because that one was there. It was not forced into my wall like a psychopath. But you know, don't don't overstay your welcome, or you. Hey, will fight hey, yourself. hey, hey! I'm not a psychopath. I simply have a disregard for the establishment of buildings and the barriers between them. <laughs> I think you would be hard pressed. Down. I think you would be hard pressed to not have that defined as psychopathy. But you know, whatever, do whatever you gotta do. Thank you. All right, so we'll take we'll take the secret path instead. Okay. Keep us in the same map. Oh. Okay, let's go. We're gonna go through. Meanwhile, so Tanhauser, I've been meaning for some time to expand my horizons with. Uh, the various sundries that I've been picking up through our journeys, and I think it's time to throw you in on a little project. You don't really have to do anything. I mostly just want to show it off to you, because, I, I don't know, you you have all the cool stuff. You're, you're a wizard, after all, so you might be able to help me out. I might be able to, and I might be a wizard. Continue. Okay, so watch this. And Rahua will go into the main room of the workshop, right in front of the door. Excellent. Yep. No, Chad, I'm worried. This? You see this room? This is unfettered opportunity here. Now, everywhere around, we see an establishment, a, a building, order that was imposed upon was once the wilds of Fridoma. Fields, swamps, bogs, teeming with life, now covered up, at least in some fashion, with the veneer of civility. Now watch as I do God's work. And Rahua will mantle his pick and with a mighty swing, bring it down into the floor and begin pulling up floorboards. Okay. This is the part where Baldrick might be like, what are you doing? Stop. Tannhauser, <laughs> seeing you beginning ripping up the floor of Crunch's house. Do you need, do you need help? I mean, if you want to, it's it's kind of fun. You like disestablishment. I do like disestablishment. Uh, all right. I will um get a shovel, and I will help break the floor. Excellent. Okay. Can I get athletics checks? Absolutely. Twenty. With a with a two, okay. With a two on the die, yeah. Uh, um. Okay, Tanhauser. 
Oh, that was almost a nat 20. That's a 25. So, Crunch comes through the door. Um, seeing... Uh, as you're like... Like, Rahua, you're having some difficulty. Like, clearly the pick is not meant for pulling up floorboards in this manner. Uh, the shovel's a bit more effective. Um, t like, Crunch just... What is happening? I don't know yet. What? What? Oh, hi, Crunch! <laughs> why are you... I just... I'm... Is there some subterranean threat we sh I should be aware of? Oh, no, no subterranean threat at all. In, in fact, we're doing this in here because if I did it back in the other part of the people's duplex, uh, Baldrick would burn me to death. I've seen it in my mind's eye, and I'm not keen to be set in fire by anything other than Tannhauser's wonderful wizard powers. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Tannhauser's wizard? Yes! It, we, didn't, we didn't know the entire time. He's a wizard. I what? I have a wizard training. He's a wizard. He can set what? your head on fire if you what? ask him to. What, what, what school did you go to? I was trained by Lady Zale. Uh, interesting name. Um, 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 I've never, I've never conversed in, in, in a manner with, 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 with a true, true arcane wizard before. You always well, struck I'm me not, more as a magician. I'm not a well. I am a magus, <laughs> but I have wizard training. Not really. But, so, but 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 clearly through your wizardly training you've identified a threat underneath these floorboards that we must exterminate. Well, actually, I'm just sort of mindlessly doing whatever I'm being uh, brought to do by Rahua. Yeah, there's there's no threat to be exterminated. In fact, we're going to make things in the floorboards. We're going to yeah. remove the floorboards so we can add more wonderful things in their absence. If anything, it's probably more dangerous to not stop us. Yeah. Do you need help? Oh, that would be great. Absolutely. If you want to yes, come over, actually, you can, you can take some of these floorboards. <laughs> we could make a sort of a fence around this uh, excavated part. Here, you come over here, Crunch. Here's a crowbar, your your huh? hammer might be suited for this. I, I, I have some equipment down in the forge. Perhaps a hammer. We could we could use a python. And then, it seems underneath the floorboard, though, this, there's this stone. This is a POV of there. a bunch of guys just digging a hole. <laughs> the this is the, this is the true movie. man's world. Was it literally okay, wasn't just this, guys being dudes? Wasn't this like literally like a thing from Breaking Bad, where like in one episode he's like, "You need to go dig a hole to a meth addict," and the meth addict's like, "Yeah, that makes sense. Let's go <laughs> do it." <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, hey, wait. Do right. we get a hole uh, bonus? A what? hole bonus. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah hold on. Yeah. yeah, it's in the rulebook, whole bonus. We get yeah. one. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, Crunch has pointed out rightly so that underneath the floorboards is, like, raw stone, like, worked stone, because outside is a series of buildings built on top of buildings. Okay, that does pose somewhat of a problem, but, uh, Crunch, you might be able to help me a little further with this. Uh, with right. the stuff that you have in your workshop... Yes. Although Baldrick might be a bit better in this capacity, do you happen to have any, any, some alchemical adjacent compounds? Things that are, uh, oh, what's the word for it? How do I say nitrogen based in, in a society that may not <laughs> grasp the concept of nitrile? Um, high yield explosives, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, he has uh, still explosives from Baldrick. Well, we don't. We don't need explosives. I need things that are nitrogen based. Do you want to ask Baldrick do. because he went to college and would know these things, or are you going to continue to grind your head at it? We will. We will wait and see. Cr oh, uh, Crunch. Boy. Now that I think of it, do you have any dirt down there in the forge from where you have expanded? Uh, 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 well, uh, I mean, the only the only areas were the the, the places where the, the, the spiders came in, but we've sealed all of those up now. Okay, here I I have a mission for you. Who is that? It are we are we going to chase them back to their nests? No, 
Not yet. Though that is a good idea. We should keep that in mind later. There's probably more of them. Um, Crunch, come here, come here. And Rahul will okay. motion him over. Yes, 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 yes. Come, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm on a different layer than Token, so it takes a second. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, so like, Crunch yeah, is no. moving at several, like, tens of frames slower, so he's just, like, instant transitioning. <laughs> yeah. Hello. And Rahul will produce from his wrist. I'd say about five gold pieces. Take these. Yes. Go to the market and actually, I, the Rook's Palaster, if you can make it there. I believe there it's is a, a, a wildlife supply store. A farmsteading store. That's what it is. I, I apologize. I don't really do much of this in my spare time. I don't it, really it, have the Rook's time. Not the Squire's Palaster. Oh, all right. No, not the okay. Squire's Palaster. No, no, no. Uh, I need you to go and get me some nice, good quality dirt. If you happen to come across an, a salesman there who might be able to sell a very small farm assistant, well, tools, there might be some small livestock we could procure for this. Just get me the prices on them. I'll get you. I'll pay you the cost later. Just go and get some dirt and find where to get good, non-communicative help. All right. All right. Wait. I don't know about the legal ramifications of learning how to make a fertilized bomb on stream is. <laughs> We're not making a bomb! <laughs> Sorry, I, I stopped speaker. Go ahead, speaker. Is So wait, the main thing that you're looking for is dirt. Well, we yes, we do need some dirt for what is to come next. Why didn't you just go outside and because get some dirt? This city, the, the Pons Palaster is toxic. Do you see all the trash around? Do you see the pit of hell that we've crawled in and out of? Yes, but the, any dirt you get below the floorboards will be equally as toxic. Yes, which is why it's mostly stone. We're going to excavate the stone. We're going to put it somewhere else, and we're going to fill the hole with dirt. Tenhauser looks like he might want to, like, say something. He leans in. Now that sounds good to me. Let's do it. What? What? And like, as this has gone on, Duhakis has crept by. Oh, what? hello, Duhakis. What is going on here? Duhakis, I've been meaning to speak with you. I've if been I... meaning to speak with you. I, I wanted to give you some time, and now you're digging up floorboards. Well, that was Rahua's idea. Here's oh, mine. It was. It if I sense. start introducing myself as uh, the great wizard Tannhauser, do you, how do you think that would go in far as our branding of the revolution? Um, what, 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 why are you digging up the floorboards? Walks by you. We're making friends. What? Well, friends and, and food, but mostly space for friends. Tannhauser, come come with me. All right. Okay. You 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 keep digging. Tannhauser, you come with me. Okay, I, will. I, I, I will. Thank I will. You. I will come with you. Come, come 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 across. Come All close right. the door behind you. All right. Very well. Close it. <laughs> Your continued tearing of wood, <laughs> excavation come noises. Come here. Come here. You hear what going. sounds like what might be no, a not piece the of pit. heavy machinery. Come <laughs> 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 I, I got grappling hug back. You stay right. Stay you right wake back. up. You're now in Dark Where Souls. Dark? Where do you want to go? Stay there. Pound, pound, pound. Yeah, who is it? I'm here right now. I inquire as to why. It's important. Can you explain to me why it's important? It burnt your destiny. Now get out here. Oh, for the love of... One moment. You hear the sound of an immense fizzing, fizzing hiss, as well as the sound of what sounds like a tea kettle boiling over. You can hear the, the whistling growing louder and louder and louder and louder and louder until it starts to get alarming. And then you hear it start to peter off along with the sound of burbling, spittling nonsense and the door swings open and Baldrick stands there. Come here. Yeah. Go into your room. You. Go into Baldrick's room. All right. What are we doing? Go into the room. I open the door. No, not that room. I close the door. This room, Baldrick's. 
Oh, here. No, points to like Baldrick's. Both of you inside. <laughs> Comes in, slams the door. Guys, I think the game master's angry. <laughs> Maldrick leans against the fireplace as he has been oh. ushered into his room by the fire There's gargoyle. some dirt. I grab the potted uh, flower. You leave that alone right now. Rahua needs it. You can put that plant down right now. I could. No, you're and going to. <laughs> what Rahua needs right now is your help. Clarify. Yes. You're all destined. Do you get that? I've been doing a lot of research on this. Could it be my next thesis piece? Okay, elaborate. I need for you to help him. You're destined. I, I, you told me back, back, when you got me out of cackling jackass and all of that about your little tumble into the temple. I've been researching. Obviously, based on what you told me of the solitude, you're you're all you're all sponsored, probably by Auntie Drown. It seems like. Well, deity sponsorship is a delicate, delicate matter. It weaves you in, into a destiny, and I've been researching destiny. And destiny sets you on a path. It sets you on a path that the gods want you to follow. But, but, but those paths, those paths have branches and they can, they can be twisted and turned and eventually broken. But the thing about all of your destinies is that Rahua doesn't make any damn sense. And she slams her like, like clenched fist on the table, causing the, the foliage there to shake slightly. What do you mean? In the records of sponsorship, there have never been any creatures animate of one opposed power that have been granted sponsorship by another one. Okay, so he doesn't make any sense. How does that factor in with us? Because why would she do it? Perhaps if we are truly destined as you claim... The threat that we are set to face is one that only he can be provided on. I, I don't know. I, that's the problem. I've been racking my brain around it. It it doesn't make any sense. None of it does. I I I've I've pieced some things together. I'm fairly sure that a lot is sponsored too. A lot. That bozo. And think about it. Association with fire, his supernatural abilities. <laughs> if if you are avatars of 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 Auntie Drown, then then, then obviously he is empowered by. Something else. But I wasn't empowered by Auntie Drown. When I received my blessing, it was through the fires of Uncle Blaze, was it not? No, no, that's just it. You were all powered by Auntie Drown because you died and fell in the waters. What happened after? That was just that was just fun and, and exploration. You died when you fell. Hmm. Well, I suppose there's no denying that. As much as it pains me. But if we died, why are we not affixed with the rot? Because I think it was your first time. Because because of that connection that happened after that, your your friend uh, 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 Vali Vina, whatever, uh, she 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 was rotten, or or in, or in received it. Uh, all of you have been lucky enough not to, to to suffer any other ill effects. So the first one's free, in effect. In so effect, your, I suppose. Your concern then is that. Us with our sponsorship, presumably by the Auntie Drown. Makes no sense given who is nature as a chaotic Konrasu. All I'm saying is you should keep an eye on him and what he's doing. Why? Do you suspect foul play? 
No. I suspect it's happened for a reason. Mm. Most likely, yes. If it happened for a reason, then we're not exactly about to be able to change it, I don't think, at the moment. But I keep an eye on all of you anyway, so... What are the f fates of the other sponsored throughout history? Surely there's some precedent. How do their stories typically go and end? The, the Knight Sabruna left the, 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 to the, in the monastery in the solitude. She was a, a righteous warrior. She died three times and then failed to return after that. Her remains were interred under the monastery. She fought and claimed the lives of bandits and rotten creatures. Um, there have been others, of course, some some sponsored by other other powers. They they say that in ages past, the the shining beneficite granted its 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 light to the people of the uh, chosen people of the city. Somehow, I, uh, sponsorship varies. It's 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 new and strange, and people don't have a good understanding of it. But when the gods do it, they don't they don't typically do it to people who are of opposing beliefs, like a like our friend, Broa. Perhaps they are simply truly desperate. No, no, but you were you're on a path, and that path is leading somewhere. But 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 those paths are not unchangeable. Mm. After all. Uh... Soiree at the mansion, Baldrick. I would very much like to speak with a representative of Anti Drowned. Perhaps we might achieve some sort of better understanding of our condition through the eyes of one indulged in the faith. Uh, Thurston, could I make a yeah. quick society check to see where we would best do that? Yeah, sure. Give me one second. Absolutely. Society! Uh, that'll be a 30. Sweet. Uh, you would know that the only place you'd have a, like, a real chance of meeting someone in town might be a representative in the bishop's plaster, though that wouldn't be the, the most accurate representation of like an old powers representative. The best the best thing would be like someone like Aethon, like people like of the Kaibu in the Solitude. There aren't a lot of people who, you know, worship the old powers actively within the within the outset. Baldrick kind of rolls his hand around a little bit. Well, the best option for us would have been doing something out in the solitude, asking people in the Kaibu. After that would have probably been someone in the Bishop's Pilaster, probably finding an actual temple dedicated to it. Best that we're gonna find around here in the ponds is some kind of street preacher, and they're probably gonna make you drink sacramental wine laced with seawater. So probably not the best use of your time. I've drank worse. Uh, yeah, but they make you drink a lot. I'm just saying that things are strange here, and I'm trying to learn more, but it's it's difficult. There's a lot of research material. I trust that you are doing all within your abilities, and I thank you for your yes. insight and counsel. If Tessin and, and Molly would just stop asking me to help them with pamphlets, it'd be a lot easier. I'll tell them to cease inquiring as to your talents for such a menial task. You are clearly better suited to doing research. On that subject, I did have a few queries for you. I'll keep them short. The first, and I procure the burned note. Do you happen to recognize this handwriting? Yes, it's, it's familiar. Familiar, you say? Don't know where from. Hmm. If you can... I've definitely seen it before. See if you can cross-reference it. We have reason to believe that this individual not only has agents in the solitude, but is behind whatever is going on with the Medics Guild. Behind even the Declan family. We'll see what I can do. It's a bit of a I... warren. Trying to think. It's something I've seen in 
past few months at least. Excellent. Now then, the other subject at hand. I was hoping on asking you, with regards to this situation with Rahua, have any of his kind ever been sponsored, not by an opposing elemental, but in general? No, the, the, the essence means they shouldn't. You see, what should happen is, is they should die and they should go back to the battlefield. Appropriate elemental plane. Yeah, anyways, it, it, they imagine like their their parts. Their their their. Rahua is part of the anarchy as a whole. It, it's a little tiny part, and then that little tiny part eked its way through the crucible of creation, eked its way into our material realm, and animated itself in stuff. Plants points at the plants on the table. Made a form. See what that form? It's here, but it's, it's essence. Rahu is part of the anarchy. So, so when it dies, metaphysical, whatever, its, it's form is destroyed and shattered. It, it goes back. It, it goes back through the crucible all the way to the fundamental battlefield where it's reconstituted into the anarchy. But, 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 but it made it here. It shouldn't be sponsored. Sponsorship is like a, a barrier. When you go to the crucible, it bounces you off. Well, sounds to me like that's an issue for Auntie Drown to work out with the fundamentals then, doesn't it? Hold on. I believe... Come with me for a moment. I would like to discuss something with Rahua. Fine, fine, fine. Am I good to go back to my office now? You wish yes. Not. Really yeah, you. Uh, at that ex ex exact moment as you like come down that's when uh, Vina and Oren have uh, returned back from their shopping trip I say if that pressure gauge explodes we're all in for a world of hurt can I have this plant here you can stop touching my plants you don't need what do you need dirt for I don't know but it will make Rakua happy one moment hey guys. he goes in there's another cacophonously loud, frightening whistling noise coming from the alchemy room, and he steadily cranks something down again, and the whistling dissipates. All right, what the hell is all this dirt nonsense about? Because I want to find this out before he's making, like, a mud sculpture to whoever the hell. Oh, don't be the fun police. Let the man have his hobbies. No. Um, is, is everything all right? And Marlene, like, pops out, looking, like, down the... Tessa and I were, were we were just working on the on the the pamphlets. Ah, excellent. You have the newest version. Yes, I I I I was uh Tessa was writing them. I I I I gave some suggestions on wording. We think we could get a a a good proper showing for for the next gatherings. We're trying to see if we can go into other pilasters soon too. Well done, comrade. Here, give me the newest version. Hands it over. All right, I take it. I see Oren and uh, Vina. The two of you. Oh, okay, bye. Welcome back from your sh uh, shopping journey. We will cover uh, what's going on. We are dealing with a lot of things right now. Uh, Oren, you know how to read, right? <laughs> he looks at you cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda. All right. Boy, ain't right. Uh, I'm going to take up the pamphlet and hand it to Oren. Oren, read this and see if it convinces you of the content. If it doesn't, tell me... That. Okay. I, uh, Put all this stuff on the counter. We're talking about destiny and stuff. Hey, Speaker. Yes. Roll me a d20. <laughs> if it's even, he's holding it the correct way. If it's odds, he's reading it upside down. Yay! <laughs> First okay. time I've ever had to roll it, too. It's like, yeah. It's like, uh, <laughs> what, is, what does the pamphlet say? Uh, that's, that's, that's for my cohorts to describe. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, shit. oh god <laughs> hey chat what does the pamphlet say what's the slogan for youtube and twitch chat what is tan uh for a pamphlet that you would read on the wall of outset what is the slogan for tan revolution revolution good revolution good, revolution good. 
<laughs> That's all it says. Revolution good, huh? Revolution yep. fucks. <laughs> Revolution fuck. Better oh, red than dead. <laughs> Hang on. Where's that? Where's that stupid gift that I have? It just says. It just says this. Toast there with you honey, go. butter on your Chinese pepper. This is this is fuck. <laughs> Name fuck toast. Um, I'll pick one out of that right, speaker. A... All right, it is. Right, hold it's on, it's got... the world is a fuck image. Hold on, where is it? There we go. This is what's on the pamphlet. <laughs> this is what I've decided that uh, Venus sees on the pamphlet. Hell I, yeah. I'm excited, yeah. <laughs> it is It is definitely based on the born to die, world is a fuck, kill them all, I am trash man, uh, <laughs> 410 billion, 757 million, 864,530 dead times. I don't know if I want to put that on stream. I... <laughs> <That's> <laughs> not, I don't think I want to. Oh, well, you know, you know, if you know, you know. Speaker, um, I'm so impressed that not only have you managed to create a pamphlet for the revolution, but you've also created an ontomorphic document. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely, it is it is embroiled with the with the riot of filigree. It is red. It is convincing you that you need to. Uh, wh how, why you are so mad? You must get out and fucking kill. Tyrants Guild officers. You must go into the streets and drag them and stab them with knives. What? Here is why. Um, <laughs> what in the actual? And you just hear this <laughs> shouted from, from the other side of the building. Orin gives you a thumbs up. It's good. All right, great. Let's go and see if Ruhu has killed anyone. What? All right. Gonna... To describe the scene as, as those of you make your way across the, the secret path into the room Ruhua has continued um, his his excavations. Um, and as part of this uh, this excavating, Rahua has now, with the pick, made a, a fine hole in the floor here. What the fuck are you doing? That has collapsed into a room that is underneath. What? There was a room underneath? I go around the other passage for Vina. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they put a wall up again. You can't to go through the... It was very <laughs> convenient when it wasn't there. I got tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> Baldrick is standing at the edge of the hole, peering down yeah. at the single glowing green eye, peering up at him from the darkness like a fucking it's... cat. Well, Hi, well, Baldrick! Like, Rahu's, Rahu's, is Rahu down there? No. Okay, so Rahu's standing at the opposite <laughs> You ruined my the image! Go so to hell! Here, here, here. Now, he, now he is, so Baldrick doesn't yeah. feel as bad. Okay, okay, okay. okay. One sec, one sec. Please draw a hole. Yeah, there's. Hi, Baldrick. Um, it's very, it's a very good hole. Okay, so, so you've Rahua has jumped into a hole. Um, okay. What the fuck are you doing? So Rahua, do you have dark? Well, actually, wait. I, I have light. Got, I have light. I can trip. He has okay, light. Okay, so, so, so you go down and you've cast light. All right. So what you're in is a stone room, um, that is about the same like dimensions as the room above you. So it's like a kind of a cuboid room. Uh, maybe 20 feet by 20 feet. Uh, but what, what is noticeable is on the ground in here is like a plant bulb. Um, but it wraps around like a, a humming green crystal. Uh, and you've seen this type of crystal before. Oh, not long ago. At the beginning of your journey. Um, but you see that there are roots that are coming out from this, uh, from this crystal. And they sort of weave uh, under the floorboards uh, and then they seem to go west uh, basically toward like several of them go towards Baldric like the area of Baldric's house underneath like about six of these uh, vines that go along the floor up the side of the wall here and then underneath and you see all of these Oh, it's the only thing in the room is this this like plant that's sitting on top of a section of broken stone that's on the floor of this room. Um, except it like the, the, the stone is broken and there is some dirt underneath, which is what it is connected to and seems to be feeding off of. So I might have to make you a recall knowledge because I don't remember if we ever determined the nature of those green crystals. Uh, the nature of the green crystals at the time you were in that area was that they were nothing. 
In fact, I remember Baldrick was very angry that you determined they were nothing. Correct. Yep. Now, did we make a, a very high check to determine if they were actually something we just simply... I don't know. Effectively? You're ninth level. Do you want to give me a new nature check? I would love to! Nothing it's, more, in it's fact. It's literally been a few months, so... That is true. We've I learned. I want to aid. Oh. You don't need it's to. It's okay. I have a 34. Yeah. <laughs> on the die. You, you like, examine this object. You touch it. Um, and you, you get flashes. And you can tell immediately what this is. This is a a primal item that acts like a almost like a a verdant scrying device. Um the way that the the way that the branches move out from here and go underneath in like the specific areas and in fact when you touch the crystal your mind like follows along the the, the the vines that creep up the walls and you can tell they they basically form the full circuit of Baldric's house and the adjoining structure. Um they're like wire taps in every area. Ooh. So Baldric I'm sorry not Baldric <laughs> Rahua will respond to Baldric now. So I've heard of this thing called homesteading and this is kind of my home, pointing upwards, and I'm steading. Although I didn't intend to go down this far, the ground kind of collapsed when I got to a certain point. But I seem to have found something of intrigue. Can I inquire as to why you're homesteading from within a house in the middle of a giant city? Well, I've been collecting a number of things over the course of the journey, uh... Largely various cuttings, a couple of fungal cultivars. I intended to help with both the alchemical side of things, but more preparing and tending to various kinds of fauna that we had, or flora rather, and maybe a few fauna I picked up. I, I won't spoil you on the details. Since that's kind of what I do, is maintain life rather than snuff it out all the time. Much to the contrary of my actions, mind you. Yeah. Though I appear to have hit a roadblock in that there's an antechamber below the house. Uh-huh. And do you recall those giant green crystals we saw back when we fought that rotten drowned creature? Yeah, you said they were uh -huh. nothing. So, turns out, we merely lacked perspective. I'm not sure. Just come down here. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> Do we want to save going into the pit for next time? I think we should. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> next time <laughs> on Red You're telling me I have to wait to see the pit episode? <laughs> oh, nice. My, my screen immediately zoomed in on the mole. The mole. <laughs> Once uh, more. The mole. The mole. mole. <laughs> Thanks so it's much, Ron, chat. It's getting everywhere. Thanks so much, chat, for joining us. Remember, you too can support the show at patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration. Get all the fantastic stuff or a little exclusive uh, Kingmaker thing we're getting going on. One dollar is all you need for the preview stuff. But of course, the <coughs> ones that make these amazing episodes are here with us, starting off with Oda Roshi. Hi, hello, it's me, I'm Odo. I was playing Vina the Self Swash Buckler, the Swash Haggler, the best haggler on the planet, who managed to haggle exactly one item, Quiver and Fear. I'll see you guys in two weeks. And of course, next up, haggling with our lives, is Hulky Crow. That is me, I am Hulky Crow. You can find me at the usual places on my socials, at Twitter X, at Hulky Crow, YouTube, now Twitch as well, because it's funny streaming and you can also hear me in some funny ogre popening stuff that is forthcoming including the the funny northbrook wizard game which i'm sure speaker will talk about then of course we have the also other funny man baldrick play by arendelle yeah uh you can find me at and i'm not going to sugarcoat this twitter at adarendilio uh and basically nowhere else except for maybe discord if you have me as a friend or just want to like Message me, I guess. Sure. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll kill you. Maybe not. 
Then, of course, we have our ever revolutionary Speaker D. Hi, I'm Speaker D. You can find me at Twitter at Super Snake Kick. And as foretold, you can find the Norfolk Wizard game before it's animated on Spotify.com. That's right. Someday, very soon, the Norfolk Wizard game will be animated as it was animated in the preview of Bill's Awakening. Until then, you can watch them audio only on Spotify, but you can look forward to, to the sights we have to show you. <laughs> Go watch episode one. That's me. Because remember, uh, if it's not a narrative declaration thing, so head over to patreon.com for us alpha boost for that. And uh, of course, thank you to our glorious game master for a wonderful session, Thurston Hillman. Hello. Yes, thank you all for coming in this fever dream of an episode. We kind of wanted to give the, the party a bit of downtime before we carry on into the uh, the the subterranean realm of the manse, which we will be uh, likely getting back to in the uh, the future session. But yes, I am on call GM. You can find me at all the things at on call GM. I am uh, going to be uh, doing just, I just just I'm, I'm Starfinder. It's so much Starfinder, y'all. I'm getting so much Starfinder done. I can't wait to share Starfinder with you. It's going to be so cool. I'm I'm doing work on the playtest rule book right now. We're getting it ready. It's going to be. So cool. That's that's about all I've got. Yeah, on all the things on call GM, 100 years on call GM. That's me on call GM. Of course, I have been your host this evening, Zorn the Bear. Thank you all so much for watching, listening, and supporting us every single day. And with that, we're going to leave now. We hope you all have a wonderful time. And we'll see you next time for an exciting episode of Rut Grind. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, hey. Goodbye. Hey. 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 Hey.